Good afternoon, families. Thank you so much for attending our RM Moore Elementary STEM Academy Curriculum Night. Your fourth grade teachers are super excited you have joined us. This year in fourth grade, we have eight teachers. We have one two-man team, which includes Miss Denise Bennett and Miss Stephanie Cisneros. Our two three-man teams include Miss Sharon Bird, Miss Jessica Magardo, and Miss Erin Sutherland, with our second three-man team being Miss Lindsay Hudgens, Miss Macy Hester, and Miss Whitney Oliver. There have been a few changes in our ELA curriculum as a school. We are still doing 120 minutes of instruction. We focus on word study and phonics. There have been um, some changes to that program in third grade with the foundations being added, so that will help fourth graders in the future. We have the read aloud each day with a reading mini lesson with our differentiated reading groups. And then we have our writing mini lessons with independent writing. Um, that is happening in our third block with the two-man teams. That is happening with their homerooms. And then on the three-man teams, that's occurring with the writing, science, and social studies teachers. For our units, there have been um, some changes, definitely a reduction. We are only doing four units this year. In the first semester, we will be doing two units. They are going to be referred to as unit A and B. In unit A, we are focusing on text structure and informational writing. In unit B, we are focusing on comparing and contrasting literary texts and narrative writing. In the second semester, we will be doing Unit C with a focus on main idea and opinion writing. And then our last unit of the year will be Unit D, where we will analyze nonfiction and integrate text, and we will be focusing on informational writing once again. In math this year, we do have new math standards that is across the state of Georgia. In our math class, we have a 90-minute window of instruction. That 90 minute window does include a whole group mini lesson, small group lessons, which are differentiated based on the needs of each individual student. We also have time that students work on the iReady program, which is computer based, and it's based on each child's level. Students are expected to complete 46 or more minutes weekly on the iReady program. Students also have time to work independently during math center rotations. Each day, teachers are incorporating number talks, three act tasks, CGI, which are cognitively guided instructional word problems, and various other ways to get students thinking and using their number sense. We do still use the ready classroom curriculum, as well as the standards of mathematical practice and the new DOE frameworks that align with the new math standards. In the first semester for unit one, we're focusing on making connections with place value, addition and subtraction of whole numbers, with unit two being patterning and algebraic reasoning. Unit three, we're focusing on reasoning about multiplication and division, and then in the second semester, which begins our mid-unit four, we're looking at investigating fractions and decimals. Unit five, we have a focus on building conceptual understanding of angle measurement. And then in unit six, we have reasoning with shapes. Also new this year in unit seven, we have a culminating unit where students are focused on a project-based way of showing all that they learned in mathematics that school year. We have such a fun science curriculum in fourth grade. Um, we cover a variety of topics from ecosystems to weather to space, light and sound, and force and motion. As you may know, we are going to be alternating between science and social studies this year. We will do four to four and a half weeks of science each quarter, and then four to four and a half weeks of social studies each quarter. So you may not see science grades constantly coming in or social studies grades, depending on what we are covering at the current time. Also cover a variety of topics in social studies. We start out with talking about the themes that are present throughout our topics um, of the year. We start out with 
discussing forming a new nation with a heavy focus on the American Revolution. Then we go into the challenges of a new nation. We discuss westward expansion in our The Nation Expands unit, and that leads to the Civil War and Reconstruction, and we end the year with talking about economics. If you would like to access any of the fourth grade standards, you can follow the link below for a complete list of those. The URL is included. Not only can you find the standards listed, you can also see each of the pacing guides for each of our content or academic areas. There are various assessments that fourth graders will be completing throughout the school year. Most of our larger assessments are completed at the beginning of the year, the middle of the year, and then the end of the year. The importance of these assessments is so that we can tailor instruction to meet the needs of each individual student. For the district-wide assessments, which means all students across the county are completing, we have the Scholastic Reading Level Assessment, the iReady Math Diagnostic, and the Easy CBM Proficient Reading Assessment. Again, these are administered three times per year. We also have various grade level assessments, which include our unit assessments in all subjects, as well as lesson assessments in all subjects. We also use rubrics and other forms of assessing to monitor student learning. As you may know, we take the Georgia Milestones Assessment in fourth grade. The link on this slide will take you to the Georgia DOE website for parent resources for preparing for the milestones in the spring. And as we get closer to the test in the spring, we will be sending home more links and more resources to help you prepare and your child prepare for this assessment. Georgia has additional alternative assessments. There is the Access for our English language learners, the WIDA Alternate Access Screener for English learners with significant cognitive disabilities, as well as the Georgia Alternative Assessment, or GAA, also with students with significant cognitive disabilities. In fourth grade, we try to really streamline homework that students are expected to complete. We do ask that students are reading nightly for 20 minutes. Your child will occasionally have reading response prompts to respond to in his or her journal. They also will be completing graphic organizers that can be done at home at times. Students are also expected to continue practicing their math facts based on each of the quarterly goals we do provide updates on that in our weekly update. Teachers will also occasionally send home practice for extra support, so just be sure that you're checking your child's folder nightly. Canvas can also be used to review any units that we're covering in class. You can be sure to monitor your child's progress through Canvas. If you go to Canvas, you can find out more information by clicking the link as you can see here in the picture. Here you'll find weekly planners for each of the academic areas. You can find grades for each academic content area as well as other resources so that you're in the know of what your child is working on at school. We feel that it is very important for students to be setting goals for themselves. This is how they take ownership of their own learning. Um, personal goals are set by each student based on their data and kept track of in their goal folder. Some examples of how students may keep track of their data um, includes number of lessons passed on iReady, number of books read, writing progress, and various other ways of tracking their progress. Your student will share their goals with you during our family engagement nights in October and in February. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for Curriculum Night. We are loving having your child in our classes, and it's going to be a great year here at RMore.